Are you having a problem with your digital video, tiling, pixelization, macro blocking, or other issues? How do you capture the video transport stream to a file so you can then analyze it later? During this video, if any of the acronyms are unfamiliar to you, please refer to the supporting Alphabet Soup videos if necessary. We are going to discuss how to capture the transport stream, whether the video is being transported over RF, IP, or ASI. We will be using the Blonder Tongue MPEG Transport Stream Analyzer. If you are using another device, the principle should be the same. The MTSA can also be used to analyze the transport stream. But for this video, we will only be focusing on capturing the streams. This is a typical diagram representation of where the MTSA Pro can be connected to capture the transport stream at different points in the network. Actual capture points may vary from system to system. Now that you have connected your MTSA to your system, let's get started. Open up the MTSA Pro software. Click on the Settings button located along the top of the screen. This will open the Settings box. Click on the Record button to access the recording functions. Set the recording's path, the location where you want the file to be stored. Set the recording time if you are recording by a specific time length. Set the maximum file size if recording by file size. The unit will allow recordings of the transport stream without setting any of the above parameters. These will just limit the length of the recordings to a particular length or size. The log recording function does not need to be activated to do the transport stream recording. Close out the settings screen when finished. Next, click the input to the unit, file, transport stream, IP or RF, RF setup. For the first capture, we will be doing a transport stream capture of the RF. Click on the input button located along the top of the screen. Set the modulation type. This will open the input box. For our application, we will be setting the modulation type to QAM256. Set the input tuning parameters. For our application, we are looking at a CATV QAM signal, so we will set the unit for cable. Set the input channel. For our application, we are looking at cable channel 50. Click OK when finished. Click on the Mode button located along the top of the screen. This will open up the Mode Selection drop-down. Select the proper mode for the signal you are looking at. For our application, we will be selecting MPEG-2 settings, ASI setup. Next, we will capture the ASI input stream. Then click on the Input button and select TSIN. This will open up the TS input screen. For this test, we will be looking at the ASI input. Select ASI, click OK. We will assume that we are looking at the same signal as before, just at a different location in the system, so no other settings need to be changed. If that is not the case, change the input mode as needed to match the incoming signal. IP Setup Next, we will capture the IP input stream and click on the input button and select IP in. This will open the IP input screen. Select the network adapter of your PC that will contain the stream under test. Set the IP address and port of the stream under test. Click OK. We assume again that we are looking at the same signal as before, just at a different location in the system so no other settings need to be changed. If this is not the case, change the input mode as needed to match the incoming signal. To start the MTSA Pro analysis of the stream, click on the play button. Data should now appear on the screen. Verify the data and the channel by looking at the data under the surface section of the screen as well as looking at the TR-101-290 section and the service view. If the signal is too corrupted or the settings you have selected are wrong, no data may appear on the screen. 
Input settings can also be verified along the bottom of the screen. Once you have verified the unit is locked onto the channel, simply click on the record button located along the top of the screen. Verify the recording has started by going to the bottom of the screen and look at the recording indicator. The recording indicator should be green and the recording time should be counting. The file size will also be displayed as the recording is in progress. If the files are to be sent or uploaded to another location, please be careful of the file size. File size will vary depending on the following. The amount of programs within the stream. Are the streams HD or SD? The length of the captures. Once you are done capturing the streams, navigate to the folder you selected to store the captures. Notice that the capture names are designated by the date and time of the recording. So to keep the files easily identifiable, change the names of the captures. The next step, analyzing an MPEG transport stream, will be covered in a subsequent video. Until then, you can visit the MTSA Pro Instruction Manual, Section 4.2. Thank you for watching Blonder Tongue's informational video. You can visit blondertongue.com for more information and details on our products.